Stupidville West is officially over. What's up? I'm your boy Oscar Rivera, aka Two. Yeah, 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 the conference is over, and I've been humbled to had worked alongside Mark Hart, Ike and Dolo, Emily Wilson, Chris Paget. The team just collectively came together to bring one collective message. As a team, we came together and we got this sense that our world right now and in this specific demographic, like relationships are a tough thing. We can't really wrap our heads around who God the Father is, let alone any relationship for that matter. So the emphasis was really strong on the relational aspect, the communal aspect, that community coming together. In my guys session, I talked about what our mission was as men how we were to bring life and not necessarily take away life, how we use our mouth to actually breathe essence into people. What, what does that mean? That sounds kind of hokey. At the beginning of time, Adam was given a responsibility to name animals. This wasn't like this, this glorified zookeeper. Like he was giving them their name. In scripture, names mean something. Their, their essence, their, their objective, their mission, is defined by their name. Now, Adam was giving life to these, these creatures that were created by the creator, giving them their name, their essence, their objective, their mission. Now, we don't do that nowadays, because nowadays we're too busy using this to cut people down, break people down, make people feel as if they're inadequate. But what if we really went back to the genuineness of what our call was? What if we bought life to individuals through our words, through our actions. I said how my son wants to be a lot of different things. The parallel was that we wanna be a lot of different things. Sometimes we feel like we're even trapped in our own bodies. We just don't know who we are. My son wakes up and he wants to be a cheetah and he wants to be a superhero like Frozone. He wants to be all these things, but at the end of the day, he's imitating what he sees daddy do. He just wants to be daddy. Our hearts are restless until we can finally rest in the fact that all we really want to do is be like God the Father, to be like our creator. Then on that Saturday night, he gave a talk about the cross being revealed and how we all kind of suffer differently. We all suffer in some capacity. It's individualistic in the sense that we handle it differently, but suffering the pressure, the, the angst, the, the stress that it puts upon someone's life, that's, that's the common denominator is that we all do have some sort of struggle. We just deal with them differently. But the beauty is when we deal with it together, how we become so unified that we become on point, that we only see ourselves in this unified sense, a community coming together. What perfect way to come together with the man who ultimately took on the biggest cross, Jesus Christ. Like when we join our sufferings to his sufferings, it doesn't minimize our suffering, but it gives us a purpose. It gives us a reason to continue to endure because we're suffering together. Like Simon, Simon was given the responsibility to carry the cross with Jesus. He didn't want to do so at the very beginning. Because this was a stranger, he didn't know Jesus. But as he journeyed with Jesus, he realized that he didn't want to let that cross go. That he didn't want Jesus to die. Together, I think that if, if we were to come together and really stop thinking about our lives so individualistically, we remove the blinders for a second and realize that there is a person to the left of us and to the right of us. If we realize that and we joined in their suffering, that together we would be amazing. A humanity would be absolutely amazing like it was designed to be. Don't turn a blind eye to suffering when suffering is taking place. Don't turn a blind eye to it. Let your heart feel that a little bit. Be with that. Compassion, compasio, with passion. Look at an individual and say, wow, like they're struggling right now. And what am I doing? How can I help? At VBS uh, this week has nothing to do with the Steubenville conference or any conference. It has nothing to do with high school kids. They're a bunch of little kids. And we're teaching them about charity. And the, the song that we had was Charity is Love in Action. And if you want to live out charity, 
you have to say, hey, hey how, how can, can I, I love, love you, you today? today? That was like part of the song. But in actuality, that's, that's, what, that's what we ought to do. That's what we should do. Is scream out to the world, hey, how can I love you today? This is where we find God revealing himself in this world. You become his hands. You become his feet. You become his mouth. See people through his eyes. And man, we'll change this world something dramatically. I'm your boy 210. I'm signing out from Tucson, Arizona. It's been a blessing and again, humbled to be here. But I gotta go. I gotta go. But it's time for me to get back to the East Coast momentarily. I'm out. Yeah, 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 yeah